Have you ever shared your heart with somebody and you were totally misunderstood? Like totally misunderstood. Well, I'm gonna share with you a response to last week's video because some people just totally misunderstood what I was trying to share. Hi everybody and welcome to my channel and welcome to my life. Let's talk a little bit about my homesteading video that I did last week because if it happened four years ago, I would have been so overwhelmed I would have took the video down because I was so much into pleasing people back then. But now I realize that we all have our own thoughts and you know what? We can all share them if we do it in a kind way. rain and snow Woohoo! oh it's not a very nice day but to be honest with you I needed to get outside and just breathe in some of that great oxygen I'm filming this the day after that video so this is gonna be like six days later but I'm actually filming this the morning of when I posted that video and I want to share with you something you know we all have our thoughts and we all can express them now I'm not gonna backtrack, I'm not gonna backpedal and say, oh, you know, what I said was wrong because I think we all have our own thoughts. We can all share our own feelings, but I am gonna say a little bit about it and I am not gonna over explain myself. I do believe what I said in my heart was my own thoughts. We have our own thoughts. You know, if I would have made this video a couple years ago, I would have been like, oh my word, I got to take that video down because a few people just totally didn't understand my point of view. And that's okay. You know, nobody thinks the same. We can all think things different. But I think they really missed the point. And the point was, I was not comparing myself to anyone. I wasn't comparing anything. I was talking about, okay, let me, let me give this a case in point because not everybody watches YouTube and not everybody, you know, realizes things, but let's say this. When I was saying about, you know, homesteading and what's homesteading and what's not, these were my thoughts. Okay. They were just my thoughts. I wasn't comparing anybody, but if you go to channels that have like a million subscribers, let's go there. There are a few channels that have a million subscribers. Okay and they're homesteaders. And what they do is there is rivalry between the two and they make it known. And what they do is they will try to outdo the other person. And so one person built a barn and it wasn't, the other person built a bigger barn. So what they do is they go back and forth and they try to do this. Like this is what they do for YouTube videos. Or how about somebody who buys a $50,000 car purposely runs it into something to destroy it and then they make a video on it and the video goes viral and they make lots of money on it. I was talking about homesteading and about homesteading when people frivolously spend money. I'm not talking about everyday YouTubers. I'm talking about people who spend a million dollars just to make something for a YouTube video so they go viral. You know, that's what I was saying and you know, so many people took it the wrong way. I think another thing is, I think people think because I talk about low income and about poverty and stuff, they think that, that I do that because I am all these low income things. I am a lower income, like my YouTube income is lower, but I could buy things and I could live in a much better environment as far as my home, but I choose not to because I choose to be very frugal. And I was just talking about how sometimes people who don't know anything about homesteading will go and see these like million subscriber channels and they say, hey, we're going to build a barn in 30 days and you can too, when a majority of people can't do that because it costs a lot of money. <sighs> and you know, 
I understand that everybody thinks like I do. You know, I was, and for one thing, I wasn't tearing anybody down. In fact, I was saying, I think that is great. So the question is, Tessie, what would you do if you had a million dollars today? I would fix up my homestead, but I wouldn't go extravagant where I would all of a sudden do something really big in order to go viral on a YouTube video. I would use my money in a way that would be very frugal. <laughs> and you know, I, I understand that people have a right to their opinions and I have a right to mine. And I realize, you know, I've come a long way because this video, for one, I would have lost a lot of sleep over it. For two, I would have probably took it down because I had six people that were totally not happy with me about this video. I would totally be thinking, oh my word, oh my word, and I'm not because I have a right. For the first time in my life, I feel like I have a right. I have a right to share how I feel. It doesn't have to please everyone. My whole life, I was silent on my own thoughts and I was silent on my own thinking because I was afraid what other people would think of me. And for the first time in my life, I shared a video, I shared my thoughts, I was very kind and happy about it. I was not degrading anybody. In fact, I was saying that is great that they can do that. It's just, it's not practical for everyone. I was a very fair person on my video and very uplifting on my video. And they are my thoughts. And I can own my thoughts. For the first time in my life, I can own my thoughts if they're not popular with everyone. And so this is kind of a heart to heart and I'm gonna have it on a Sunday because I think that is something that I'm learning and something that I am really achieving. And that is my own identity, my own thoughts, my own spirit. Even if other people don't agree with me, it's okay. Have you ever shared your life and your feelings to somebody and they totally disregarded it and totally acted like you had no right to share them? And you felt so dismayed over it? Realize, my friends, that we all have a right to share of our opinions. We all have a right to share our thoughts. Now, with me, I'm on the camera. You see my face, you see my smiles, you see my smiles in that video, you see me talking. With you, I don't see that. And there are keyboard warriors where they're da -da 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 and they feel like they can do things and say things that they wouldn't say to your face. So they have the advantage that I don't have because they all see me. They all seen how I was and it's not jealousy. It, oh, people just, they want to say jealousy because I think that they would feel jealous. It's not jealousy at all. I was just saying that if I had a million dollars, I wouldn't take my money and buy something that's pointless or buy something in order to make videos on it, in order to try to get more views on it, in order to go viral on it. Like some of these channels that have a million subscribers. Come on, you all see these channels. You all see channels that have a million subscribers and they do the most ridiculously stupid things in order to go viral. I wasn't born yesterday and you weren't either. You all know that there are channels like that. I was talking about homestead channels like that. I'm not gonna go and say names because I'm not comparison. I'm just saying in general, there are homestead channels that are really big, really, really big, and they do stupid stuff to be bigger. <laughs> There's this guy my husband watches, I ain't saying his name, but he purposely takes $200,000 things and he destroys them to make viral videos so he can buy more things. Case in point, I'll tell you this story, really. And this is kind of what got me riled up a little bit. Case in point, this guy went to an auction, bought a John Deere um, vintage tractor, paid $30,000 for it, or 30,000 extra, I don't know. So he could go and run it to it was run to the ground and it didn't work. He busted it all up. He was tearing down houses with it, all that just to make a video. And I was seeing these two homestead channels doing basically the same thing, okay? And people just push, did not understand what I was saying. <laughs> it's a good thing. That's why I don't look at comments before I go to bed, because it would. It I don't. It, it would really bother me. I don't. 
And so I want to get on here because I know I'm not alone. I know there are a lot of you who have shared your life and shared your feelings and just totally people did not understand it. I'm always amazed at this one thing. And I'm going to say this because I'm always amazed at this. I can have 365 videos a year and I don't hear from somebody at all. I don't, they've never commented me once, but the minute there's a video they don't like, what they will do is, and this has been going on ever since I started my channel. What they will do is they will get on and they will say, hi, I watch every video of yours, but this one, blah, 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 blah. And they didn't like it, but I have never received a comment from them before. But yet they watched me every single video, but this video, they had to tell me why they didn't like me or why they didn't like the video. But I have never received a comment them from before. You know, in the beginning, I used to like, oh my word, these people watched me every single day and this video they didn't like. Oh my word, what's so bad about this video? So I realized, duh, they just are saying that. <laughs> or, or this one. The, the, this is another one. I have watched you for five years now and I watched every single video of yours, but I'm unsubscribing from your channel today because I don't like this video. But yet you go back. See, I don't think people understand. Content creators can go back, search in a name and find out the comments they've given. There's never been a one comment from this person in five years, but yet they're unsubscribing from my channel that they loved. <laughs> you know, yes, I am laughing because I am so different. You know, oh my word, the bondage that I lived in for five years on YouTube of just worrying about what everybody thought. Now, yes, I do. I do not worry, but I do want to hold what other people think. You know, I do want to hold that and I want to, you know, analyze it and see how they are. I mean, one person that does comment me, she said, you know, my comment in the sea of comments doesn't matter. Well, yes, your comments matter to me. They do matter to me. All of your comments matter to me. And I do read them and I do analyze them and I do. And if they're done out of a spirit of love and kindness, of course I do. And I do, I do, I do say, you know, yes, your comment, your feelings are valuable. All of our feelings are valuable. Mine are too. And for years, I felt like my feelings were not valuable. If somebody didn't like my feelings, you know, oh, well, then my feelings weren't right because somebody didn't like them. And now I put my big girl panties on and I realize that I have a right to have my feelings too even if they're not popular, they're my feelings. And so that video is one that was one that some people misunderstood, or maybe they did understand it and they still didn't agree with me, but that's okay. Because if we only conformed to what everybody wanted us to, we would be a world that really would not have any kind of variety. We don't need to conform to what other people think that we should do. We need to search ourselves, search our souls, Yes, if I say something wrong. Yes, if I do something wrong and I feel that it's wrong, I come on and I apologize for that. But I don't apologize for my Homestead video where I was just sharing with people my thoughts, you know? And I was not judging anybody else. I was just saying my thoughts. You know, it's really hard because we all have our thoughts. And if our thoughts are different from someone else's thoughts, then we're just automatically judging. Well, no, it's our thoughts and they're different from other people's thoughts. And instead of this video being like one where I'm like, oh boy, you know, oh, oh boy, should I, what should I do? I realized that I've grown by leaps and bounds. People have a lot of uh, panic attacks and anxiety. Oftentimes they don't give themselves that love and say, you are important and your thoughts are important. A lot of us are pleaser people, you know, they want to please everybody and end up destroying your own core values and what you feel in life. And the part of healing from anxiety is honoring yourself and honoring your thoughts and honoring your feelings. If they're right, they're right. If they're wrong, they're wrong. And who's to say you're right and who's to say you're wrong, but yourself and but the Lord. And so we honor our feelings. And if my personality is where I feel this is this way or this is that way. That's my personality. And I honor that because that's me. My husband loves watching homestead channels where they take money, great 
big amounts of money and they go bigger and bigger and bigger. He loves that. That he likes watching that. To me, I just find it so superficial like that money could be better used to helping others or that money could be better used to missions. That's me. That's the core of my life. And that is just my upbringing. But my husband's daddy was the same way. He would have loved seeing farms get bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm just not that way. And so in time to time, with 365 videos a year, you are going to see a video that maybe you don't agree with. And that's okay. It's okay to agree to disagree. But to come on and attack me in a comment section, that's not right. You know, you, that's not very nice to comment me and attack me and tell me that I am this and that and this and that and I do this and that and I shouldn't say people can't do this and that. That's not very nice. You could just say, you know what, Tessie? I disagree with you on this one. And some of you did say that. I'm talking about the few that verbally attacked me. In fact, attacked me so much that YouTube even hid the comment. It was under my spam because it was so mean. <laughs> if you watch me for 365 days of the year, you know who I am. And I doubt this video would have changed your mind about me one bit. You know, in the world we live in, people feel like they have a right to attack and to do things to others. You know, and that is their right, if that's what they want to do. But it's my right not to accept it and not to allow it. And that's my right. And so, while I never was mean about anybody, and while I'm always kind, I can't, I couldn't be mean, oh my word, I couldn't be mean to my worst enemy. I really have no enemies. Yeah, there's a handful of women who don't like me. Well, that's with them. I will never do anything that they would like. I mean face it, they probably don't like much of anything in life. I have no enemies. Now, they may not like me, but that's okay, because I feel like everybody can change your life in a way. And so some of the biggest changes in my life had to do with people who were naysaying me. You know, the biggest changes in my life were because of people who were not nice to me. Really, it's true. If everybody would pat me on the back and say, we love you, Tessie, I would never have grown spiritually. I would never have grown emotionally. I would have never grown mentally. But because I had a few people attack me, you know, I, I grew up and I realized, okay, are you gonna allow people to say things mean about you or degrade you or give you bad feelings? And are you gonna just shrink as a person and just kind of walk away or are you going to be big as a person and allow that to change you? And that's what I did. I made a decision one night. One night I made a life-changing decision that I was going to take, if somebody said something unkind to me, I was going to take that and make it become a better me. And I did that. I did that. I actually did that. <laughs> I had a whole life of a learned lessons of just feeling degraded. I had a whole life of feeling like I wasn't important. My whole life I felt like nothing mattered, you know, about me. Nothing I said mattered. That was my victimness for my whole life. And then one night I decided, ah, no more. I am going to be the Tessie that God made me to be. And it's amazing. He did. And now, you know, I, I'm going to share this with all of you because it is a heart to heart kind of like that. And I lately what I do is if I have a really good day, you know, you know, our struggles sometimes can be daily. If I have a really good day, which I've had really good days now for a long time, I'll go high five, Jesus. We did it together. Honestly, I say that out loud. I go high five, Jesus. We did it together every evening because I know it's him working in me and sometimes sometimes satan will use people to attack you but sometimes god allows mean people or god allows a spirit of jezebel spirit or just a spirit of you know condemnation Sometimes God will allow that. I guess God allows it always because he could stop it in order to help us to grow and mature in our walk and our faith with God. And so these are my thoughts. You may not believe in these thoughts, 
but because they're not your thoughts doesn't mean that my thoughts are wrong. And I realized that Satan wants to use things to destroy us, you know, he does. But God wants to use things to equip us and build us and make us stronger, make our character stronger, build in us, build in us a fortitude, found a solid foundation, you know, a solid foundation where we're standing on a solid foundation. And that is no matter what comes in our life, no matter what comes in our life, we can use that to become better. We can use that to equip us to become stronger. And in a way, my video last week and a couple people who didn't agree with me, in a way, it did. It helped me realize how far I've come. So thank you guys. <laughs> no, seriously, thank you, some of you who didn't agree with me because it did, it helped me realize that my thoughts are important. Yeah, I just had, I just had a really light bulb moment, like seriously. And some of you who are very empathic will understand me. Some of you who will be like, oh my word, I don't understand this girl. Like what is wrong with her? That's okay because we all have a different thinking pattern. We all have a different thinking process. That's who we are. We're humans. <laughs> How can she be that happy? Seriously. I am because I've learned some amazing things about myself in this last year. And this one is just another one of them. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you haven't seen the video, you can go ahead and see the video. And if you disagree with me, you can tell me you disagree with me. It's okay. It's not going to upset me one bit because I realize that it's all right. It's all right to be different and to think different than what everybody else does. And for the 99% of you who did understand me, I thank you because you get it. It's just a different way we all think. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody. And also, to Teal House, I'm really happy that I was able to help your channel out in tangible ways with the two videos I made for you. And I'm really thankful that people have been nice to you and come onto your channel. And, you know, it's all about sharing love with one another and just sharing a feeling of friendship. And I remember a time when Prepper Princess shouted my channel out, a time when I needed help desperately. And my channel was just lagging and I just felt so discouraged. And so I want to always pass it forward. Never forget where you come from, but always look to where you're going.